good evening all welcome to this uh, new session we will try to discuss uh, different target signs and target patterns we encounter in radiology we will try to see the common target patterns which are clinically significant so coming to the first case this is the common target pattern we see in children they present with chronic uh, sudden acute abdominal pain with vomitings so here you can see this is the classical bowl in bowl appearance here you can see this is the intussusceptions and this is the intussusceptum and these are the few lymph nodes which may be sometimes the causative factor for the intussusception and here you can see the video clearly you can see this is the bowel in bowel pattern where there is invagination of one part of the bowel into the other part of the bowel so this is this is typically classically called as bowel in bowel appearance or target sign or downward sign seen in intussusception next case we will try to see double target sign in liver abscess here you can see this is the liver abscess there will be hypodense uh, central core which is surrounded by a hyperdense membrane and which is in turn surrounded by a hypodense rim so this central hypod hypodense area is nothing but the uh, abscess and this is the yellow one which is nothing but the membrane is nothing but the pyogenic membrane or abscess membrane which is surrounded by edema so this double target sign is characteristic major feature of liver abscess where there will be uh, low attenuation lesion this is the low attenuation lesion surrounded by high attenuation inner rim which is surrounded which is depicted by yellow and a low attenuation outer ring which is green so this inner ring is nothing but the abscess membrane which is depicted by yellow and which shows early contrast enhancement which persists on delayed images in contrast to the outer rim which is nothing but the edema which is depicted in green which only enhances on delayed phases so this uh, typical double target sign is seen in liver abscess and which can be seen in bacterial parasitic or fungal next what is concentric target sign here you can see there are concentric ring concentric rim of membranes which typical mimic the concentric target sign or concentric target appearance which is classically seen in cerebral tox cerebral toxoplasmosis and there is significant perilesional edema however similar toxo concentric appearance or concentric rim appearance is also seen in balos concentric sclerosis here this balos concentric sclerosis is typically seen in immunocompetent patients where there will be mild mild perifocal edema however in concentric cerebral cerebral toxoplasmosis you will see this concentric target sign there will be significant perifocal edema and is commonly seen in immunocompromised so remember the concentric target sign in cerebral toxoplasmosis next was it what is eccentric target sign here you can see there is a enhancing lesion with eccentrically located enhancing mural nodule here also see you can see the eccentrically placed enhancing mural nodule and this eccentric target sign is also seen in cerebral toxoplasmosis so this is other case which is also showing eccentric target sign in cerebral toxoplasmosis however there will be lactate peaks in this toxoplasmosis so the close common differential will be lymphoma so in lymphoma there will be mostly solid lesions there will be subependymal they show evid enhancement they will show diffusion restriction there will be choline elevation but there will be and will not be any lactate peaks hemorrhage is less common in lymphoma whereas in toxoplasmosis you have multiple ring lesions commonly involving the basal ganglia as we have seen in this case and there will be eccentric target sign as we have seen in this case and the concentric target appearance we have seen in the previous case and there will be high lactate lactate lipid lactate peaks uh, and no choline elevation and hemorrhage is more common so these are the differentiating points which help in differentiating lymphoma from toxoplasmosis thanks to dr veel nemettala for contributing this case so next target we'll see this is the bull's eye sign or target sign in extruded or sequestered disc material here you can see this is the extruded disc here this is the extruded disc which is showing peripheral rim enhancement and central hyponancing area which is called as bull's eye pattern or target sign in extruded or sequestered disc material so this whenever you are in a doubt whether this is a disc extruded disc material or sequestered disc material or any neurogenic neoplasm definitely advise contrast and if you see this bull's eye sign or target sign which is classical for chronic extruded or sequestered disc material and which may not be seen in most of the neurogenic neoplasms or other metastases here you can see this is the xn uh, the bull's eye sign or target sign where there is a peripheral rim enhancement which is nothing but the granulation tissue and the central hyponancing area is nothing but the extruded disc material next we'll 
try to see the other target signs here you can see in the liver there is a echogenic lesion which is surrounded by hypoechoic rim which is classically a metastasis so target sign is seen in potential ultrasound marker for liver metastasis where this is other case where you can see this reverse target sign so this reverse target sign is seen in cirrhotic nodules where there will be peripheral hypoechoic rim which is surrounded by central hypoechoic areas sometimes this may be hypo isoechoic also but the peripheral hypo hyperechoic rim is classical for reverse target sign in cirrhotic nodules so remember target sign is seen in liver metastasis whereas reverse reverse target sign is seen in cirrhotic nodules this is the source of the journal which i have taken this image next other sign is a target sign and lollipop sign this is the target sign and this is the lollipop sign where there will be a feeding vessel entering into it so this target sign and lollipop sign can be seen in hepatic epithelioid hemangioendothelioma this is the journal which i have taken next target sign can be also seen in cholangiocarcinoma here you can see this is the diffusion weighted imaging where you can see a uh, high, uh, 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 diffusion restriction with central hypointense area here also you can see there is a diffusion restriction within the mass with central hypointense area which is nothing but uh, seen in intrahepatic mass forming cholangiocarcinomas so whenever you have whenever you are in a doubt whether this is a cholangiocarcinoma or hcc definitely try to see this uh, target sign on diffusion weighted imaging where there will be where there will be peripheral hyperintense area on restricted diffusion with central hypointense area the central hypointense area is due to more fibrotic stroma this is classically seen seen in cholangiocarcinoma and it helps in differentiating cholangiocarcinoma from hepatocellular carcinoma it is seen in 57 to 83% of uh, cholangiocarcinomas compared to 3 to 15% of hepatocellular carcinoma so remember target sign on dwi in uh, intrahepatic mass forming cholangiocarcinomas next here also this is a common target sign we will see most of the times in peripheral nerve sheath tumors so this is the radiological signs in schwannoma so this is the target sign which is due to myxoid degeneration where you can see the central t2 hypointense area surrounded by peripheral uh, t2 hyperintense rim and this is a nothing but split fat sign and fascicular signs which are commonly seen in schwannomas next this is the target sign with, that is water or fat so whenever you see this is the enhancing mucosa central one is the enhancing mucosa and the peripheral one is enhancing muscularis propria and in between the submucosa is edematous so whenever the submucosa is edematous you will get this target sign of water nothing but which may be seen in portal hypertension infections ulcerative colitis or crohn's typhoiditis aids or ischemic bowel or shock bowel so this is the image which is depicting the enhancing mucosa and enhancing muscularis propria muscularis propria with central submucosa showing edema whereas here also that is target sign whenever the submucosal is replaced by fat you will get the target fat sign which may be seen in chronic ulcerative colitis crohn's obesity chemotherapy celiac disease next uh, we will see pulmonary target sign which is classically seen in covid pneumonia where they can see you can see there is a central bronchovascular bundle which may be occluded by uh, extrudate or clot surrounded by peripheral ring like opacities which are nothing but uh, pulmonary tissue filled with fluid or infected air opacity so this is pulmonary uh, target sign classically seen in covid 19 pneumonias so the central bronchovascular bundle is occluded by clot which appears the central nodule and the peripheral is nothing but the consolidation this is nothing but organizing pneumonia type which is classically seen in covid 19 pneumonia next these are the target signs miscellaneous target signs nothing but this is the tear tear of rectus femoris here you can see this is the tear of rectus femoris uh, here also you can see this is a gastric ulcer which is showing target pattern here also you can see this is a cerebral abscess which is showing target pattern here also you can see this is a cerebral metastasis or hemorrhagic metastasis which is showing blooming on GRE which may also show target pattern here you can see this is a gist with ulceration showing target pattern here you can see there is a uh, colidocolithiasis where the bile uh, stone which is hyperdense surrounded by hypodense bile which gives the target sign in colidocolithiasis so other target signs can be sub seen in subacute hematoma Lyme's disease and even sonographic target sign in neurofibromas or schwannomas so these are the different target signs we have tried to cover which are clinically significant thank you all